Hey guys, Emerald Skies here. <laughs> uh, I thought we'd do something different. How about a back-to-back -back chat? This will be a Saturday chat. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I was just kind of bored and I figured, eh, why not? Storytellers visit his family and God knows I need something to occupy my time. disappointing. Oh damn. You know matches are not what they used to be. Well here we go. Alright. So I wanted to talk about how many of you guys I think everybody goes through it. But <clears throat> How many of you guys are afraid of disappointing others in your life? I mean, I know I deal with it, <laughs> like, daily. <clears throat> and I think when it comes down to it, we are our own worst enemy. But, uh... It's something I like to get out of, but it's not like something that can change overnight. It doesn't happen like that. I didn't get it overnight, so... It's not gonna change overnight. I just, I don't like to fail, and I don't like to set myself up for failure. I mean, I think any everybody's like that, but <laughs> I like to take it to a whole new level. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> I like, uh, I tr I'm trying to get my shit together, <clears throat> meaning, uh, Physical shit, emotional shit, you know. Uh, in two months, I'm going to have a big... Or three months, I'm going to have a very big step in my life. And I'm looking forward to it, obviously. But um, it's, it's daunting, really. You know, you're like, man, don't get so excited. You're going to burn yourself out. And, um, <clears throat> you know. I mean, even being so cautious all the time can hurt your partner. Do you know what I mean? Like... If you're, like, overly, <laughs> you know, trying to compensate. And I do that a lot, you know. If I got shortcomings, I'll really <clears throat> overcompensate in other areas. <laughs> um, like, uh, I, a while ago, I had weight loss surgery. And it's, I haven't told anybody, you guys, that. I did. I had 85% of my stomach removed. Uh, that was a big step for me, actually. You know, I'm, I'm getting older, and I didn't want health problems. And uh, up until then, I was pretty pretty damn functional. Didn't really have anything wrong. But <clears throat> I just, I wasn't, even though they make you go to a therapist and a psychiatrist to check your mental well-being, eh, uh, they don't, they're not so thorough, do you know what I mean? They're, uh, you can fudge stuff pretty good just to get approval for surgery. And I would say I probably did that. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't lie or anything, but, you know, they'll ask you if you can handle it. And you're like, maybe at the time you actually think you can. And it's a, it's a, it's a big thing, especially if you stress eat. Um, <laughs> to, uh, get away from that, I actually started drinking pretty heavy to compensate so I wouldn't eat but booze has calories too and you can put on weight from booze believe me uh, bad thing is um, <clears throat> I wasn't drinking every day but when I did I was getting really messed up I had gone to the hospital a couple times and the last time it about killed me they had to get me give me nitroglycerin for, glycerin for my heart uh, because I had so much alcohol in me it was really bad, you know. They had to take me by ambulance. Because <clears throat> I was in and out of consciousness. It wasn't good. It was not good. Um, and I own that shit. That's me. You know, I'm not... I apologize to my family for stressing them out like that. But, uh... I just don't want to do that stuff anymore. I mean, you get to a certain age, you're like, Well, you're not fucking 20 anymore, you know. 
Grow the fuck up. And you can still be in your 40s and still be immature. I try not to be. In most of the areas of my life, I try to like, have my shit together and <clears throat> stuff like that. But uh, sometimes stuff can slip past you. And you really got to get a handle on that or it's going to eat you alive. I guarantee it. And that's what that's what I'm trying to do. You don't want to go into a new relationship. And uh, I always had a problem with sabotaging things, you know, when uh, things will get a little hairy or, you know, you just like, you want to run. That's the other thing. I always do call it pulling a runner. And it's true. Uh, and I'm not running anymore. I don't. <laughs> Every inch of me wants to, but I'm not going to do that because if I do that, I'm going to miss out on the best thing in my entire life. And I really am. I, uh, <laughs> I went through a lot of bad relationships like other people have. Uh, some of them were better than others. Some were more worse than others. But none of them ever even remotely made me happy. Uh, like Storyteller does. He loves me unconditionally. No matter what my size, he is one that truly loves me for me. Even though he's, even though he calls me beautiful and everything, and I think he actually believes that. And if he does, well, that's great. I mean, I'm clearly not happy with myself, and I'm trying to do something about it still. Um, but it's a, it's a time. It's a process. I always want things right here, right now. You know, <clears throat> instant results. That's not fucking life. And if you're getting instant results like that. You're not learning a damn thing. You've got to constantly be learning in life. So you can advance yourself. And it's, it's the truth. You've got to keep keep on keeping on and keep on learning. Fuck. It's one thing I always try to do is this. Always. <laughs> always keep on learning. And uh, Storytell is great for that. If I want to pick a fight with him, all I have to do is bring up politics. Because he's a Democrat and I'm a Republican. <laughs> Other than that, we're pretty much alike. Most, I don't even think there's ten things different th about us. So, <laughs> it's probably a good thing and a bad thing. We'll probably get on each other's nerves sometimes, but... <laughs> I don't think we don't now. But, I mean, eventually, maybe. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, but... But whatever does happen... You just have to work it out. Sometimes in life, things can't be worked out. <clears throat> like, I've had past marriages, and they weren't good. They weren't good because I am a nurturer, and I feel pity for people, and I think that I can change them. And I can't do that. That's not fair to me, and that's not fair to them. Because, folks, you can't change anybody. You have a fucking hard enough time changing yourself. You sure as hell ain't gonna change anybody else. And I'm doing my damnedest not to have that mentality, that mindset anymore. You just, you can't fucking do it. It just, that shit will eat you alive. That's why you, when you get a chance of happiness, fucking take it. Because you know what? You don't know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. Ten minutes, ten years, whatever. You don't know. And if you're stuck in a relationship where you're not getting out what you need and you repeatedly tell that person, you know, let's work on it, let's evolve, and they don't want to put that effort in, then you just walk away. You do what you have to do, you get this, your shit situated, and you don't stay. You, you cannot do it. it um, it's all consuming. And there will be nothing left to you. So you need to get out. While there's still something left to save. There's nothing worse than being alone when you're in a relationship. And when they're there. It is devastating. <clears throat> no matter how much you play with them. It doesn't matter. 
they're into their own thing or whatever and just basically fuck you. <laughs> so, you take them by the short and curlies. You tell them how they wronged you. You forgive yourself for staying that long or whatever. And you get the hell out of Dodge. I mean, you don't want to do what I did. I went right into a relationship. I'm glad. But I wouldn't re recommend it to anybody else. It's hard, believe me. It's a lot to deal with, but... Damn, I wouldn't... I wouldn't give up Storyteller for the fucking world. I love him so much. I know you guys aren't used to hearing that from me. I mean, you are lately, but... You just try to get people to understand. You don't understand how great he is. <laughs> uh, somebody can get me to smile. And I can joke. My God, there's got to be laughter. Seriously. Um, somebody can make me laugh. You know, I, try, I like trying to make people laugh. Or say stuff that... Just quote unquote girls don't normally say. Which that's me. You know, I could... You know, swear like a fucking sailor. And tell the dirtiest joke I could find. You like that? <laughs> Come sit beside me. I got some more. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Life's too fucking short. You gotta learn to laugh. Laugh at yourself. Laugh at that bastard next to you. We well, you gotta laugh at him. <laughs> and. <laughs> just try to love yourself. Forgive yourself for whatever. If you did transgressions against people, whatever. That's the past. That is the past, and you have to move on. You evolve, you move on, you go on to the next. But you will survive, because you've made it that choice to go on to the next. And we all have to do that. <laughs> I know this is not my normal, I'm not doing the bondage bear, and I'm not jerking off a dildo. I know, this is a little bit serious, but that's alright. Anybody that watches my channel knows that... I go off on my tangents, it could be, uh, I can offer you some sweet tea. <laughs> I could do Southern, I could do a vampire, I could do whatever, but, uh, there has to be some serious moments. You know, I have serious moments, I'm not all shits and giggles. <laughs> Storyteller always says, it's all shits and giggles until somebody giggles and shits. <laughs> That's about it, it's true. <laughs> but... So, if you haven't found your significant other, and don't stick around with an insignificant other, that's for fucking sure. Ugh. Take it from me. But, um, you fucking find somebody. You go out and look. Right, Natrium? You go look. You don't be passive. You find that special someone, someone, for a little something, something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, buddy, don't you give up. Don't be passive about it. Get out there and find you a cooch that you're in love with <laughs> and marry it. <laughs> put a ring on that. <laughs> Always put a ring on it. Don't be living with somebody forever. You know, get to know them and shit like that, but put a fucking ring on it. It's all right. You know, people so worried about goddamn money. Oh, man, she's going to take me or he's going to take me. Well, you know, they say she. She's going to take me for half of everything. You know what? I, in any relationship I was ever in, I didn't take fucking shit. I came, I left with what I had. You know what I mean? I don't care about money like that. There's no fucking way. I always left with dignity, no matter what. I don't need to grovel for money. And even if I was in dire straits, fuck that. You know, if they're all about their money or whatever, they'll be with their money and they'll be fucking alone. <laughs> put stock, put stock in moments, experiences, because they can be free buddies. <laughs> they can be free people. Best things in life are free, and it's a, it's the truth. Watch a sunset. You know, get a get a kiss from your significant other. It can lead to other things. That can wind up costing you money if you're a girl and you get knocked up. But, you know, that's life. Procreation. That's what keeps the girl, girls. Yeah. That's what keeps the world going. 
How do you think you got here if your mom and dad didn't get busy with it? <laughs> they did. <laughs> yeah. I always said, I have a sister, and I always said, man, I had to think about them two times my parents had sex, <laughs> and then it stopped. It didn't happen after that. They had common sense. <laughs> it's not true, but you think about that shit, you know, like, ew, your parents had sex. Well, hell yeah, you have sex. Don't you? Well, if you're lucky, and you're lucky with somebody else, you have sex. Everybody does. You hope, though, you know. See couples out holding hands. I think that's adorable. Well, I went to a amusement park the other day, and there was like, oh, they had to be in their 80s, because they were really slow, and I'm not being judgmental, they were just taking their time, they were, um, she was eating popcorn, it's just adorable, and they were fucking holding hands, and I thought that was the most beautiful thing that I had seen in a long time, and, and he would put his arm around her, and he was very attentive, <clears throat> be attentive of each other, too, you're in a relationship, Oh my God! Kiss them, hug them, tease them, paw them. PDA, public display of affection. You give them that shit. Don't you care? Don't I mean? Don't be fucking them in the store, okay? You'll be in people at Walmart or where now. Don't fuck them in the store. You take that shit outside of the car or wherever you want to do that. But you kiss them. You know, you grab a hold of them. You show them how much they're appreciated. I tell you what, nothing makes me feel better than somebody grabbing me and just laying one right on me. <laughs> Groping me, grabbing me. It's like, hell yeah, bring it on. I'm not a prude, clearly. But, uh, fuck yeah. Ugh. Somebody likes you that much and they can't control themselves or wait, you let their freak flag fly. <laughs> yeah. You let them do it. You'll be better for it. You go home, get a little something, something. Everybody has a smile. You can veg out, watch some movies, eat some ice cream, and start all over again. That's what's good about it. <laughs> well, this chat to get along. And I'm getting along with it, and I'm full of shit. And I, I'm not even drinking. I miss drinking, but... Because it helps flow. But it's alright. We don't need to drink to have fun. It's nice. <laughs> but we don't need it. <laughs> all right kitties as always love the ones around you love your friends family significant others whatever whoever love your animals your puppies doggies kitties whatever love them love them, love them. give your little hamster a squeeze this little one because you'll, you'll hurt the hamster <laughs> and there's always tomorrow and never go to sleep angry and always, always, always kiss them goodnight. Never go to bed angry. If you guess makeup sex, that'll put you to sleep. <laughs> You'll be all relaxed and you won't even forget like something stupid like, oh man, he left up the toilet seat. Again, I fucking hate that too. You don't pay attention when you're in there. You go to the bathroom in the dark and you fucking get your ass all wet. Oh, that pisses me off. But then I'm a dumb bitch for not turning on a fucking light and looking to see the toilet is <laughs> up. Alright, you guys, take care, and I will see you next week.